So I went to Barack. I said, Barack, me, you, and three other guys are going to go out and play a game against the prison, prison's best team. Hill Harper may not be a household name with this crowd, so it helps to drop a bigger name while talking to the guys locked up at the Juvenile Temporary Detention Center. And five Harvard Law students played five of the, the prison's best, you know, they're all stars, and uh, you know who won, you know. Not us, not us. <laughs> He's definitely one of our robbers. The television and film actor, perhaps best known for his regular role as a doctor on CSI New York, is also showing that he's cared about incarcerated brothers for a long time. This is the issue of our time, without question, because we're getting to a point where it's becoming so large that you're seeing communities crumble. Where's the tax base to support the economy of the community? It's not there. The latest figures show one in three African-American males ends up in prison. A youth detention center is often the first step to hard time. Harper hopes to convince them to step aside. Many of us feel stuck because we know intuitively what we want to do to make a difference or change, but we're too scared to actually take the risk to do it. And you will, most of you, end up in institutions the rest of your life. But there's, there's one or two of you, and I don't know which one or two of you it is, that's actually going to do the work. The work is outlined in his latest book, Letters to an Incarcerated Brother, based on Harper's real correspondence with young men behind bars. There's a whole owner's manual in the back of the book, which to me is one of the most important parts of the book. It's like, you own your life, use this owner's manual. What did he say today that really hit home for you? We're architects of our own life. We have to plan it out the way we want to and or need to. If you plan it out the wrong way, we'll just end up with a bad ending. Those locked up here are awaiting trial. One bad ending at their age doesn't have to be their whole story. But they don't show too much excitement about their famous guest speaker. A couple even have to get taken out for misbehaving. They're kids, the most vulnerable, you know, young kids. But they don't want to act that way in front of their Peers. It's been a great picture, okay? All right. Which is why Harper stays long after his presentation, asking us eventually to turn off the TV camera so he can go one on one, maybe even help one beat the odds. I got your back. I love you. I want to see you be successful. Period. If you're wondering if maybe Hill Harper's just trying to sell books, keep in mind he's already a best selling author and he donated copies to the detention center. He tries to visit a prison or detention center in every city that his career takes him to. So if you're not already a fan of his acting, maybe this is something else to admire. Back to you.